Well, and it's funny, things change. That was the last record you did with Plaskett, but you used basically the emergency. Wasn't yeah, it? Uh, you used Dave Marsh. Dave Marsh on yeah. drums and Charles Austin right, on bass. Right, and Charles Austin. Yeah, it was a, it was a Halifax dream team. Basically. I know. And it was such a diff like departure because your last your last records were kind of like they weren't as rock and roll. No, they were more whatever, old oh, country or Canadian or whatever you wanted to call it. They had a mellow side. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm I'm I was kind of waiting for a while to make things a little louder. I wouldn't mind getting out of the cold a bit. Me too. Hey, look too. at this place, man. Woodchucks. Cool. Ever throw an axe? No. There's no time like now. Let's, go. Let's do it. <laughs> I think it was a bank at one point. It was it? the original Bank of New Brunswick, yeah. Bank of New Brunswick right here. Wow. Which is really cool. So how old is this building? Do you know? 1820. 1820, that's amazing. We're gonna so, celebrate the birthday next year. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The last time I was in here, Mike Bigger did a CD release. Oh, right? One fluid motion. Okay. Bullseye right out of the gate. <laughs> hey. Good job. Wow, that was fun. <laughs> so, Common Senseless. Dennis, I noticed that um, actually when I put this record on, I almost feel like it's part of a dream, the whole record. Oh, yeah? It's very verby. It is verby. There's a lot of reverb and it's, it's not, um, it's a rock record, but it's not a rock record. You know what I mean? And it's something that, it's funny because the tone, like lyrically, I mean, I love your lyrics, but in Common Senseless, there's a lyric that kind of goes on and on. Um, and it's repeated about, I'm feeling nervous, mm. that one. And um, what is it? I'm feeling nervous. Because everyone, everyone, everyone is, is laughing, laughing to keep from crying. To keep from crying. That's a pretty heavy lyric. It is heavy, yeah. Yeah. Intentionally. And, and it kind of sets the tone to that record. Although I feel like the record is kind of still sunny and hopeful. Yeah. What that is, comes later. But it's a, com it's a, com <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. But it's like a common thread, I think, that kind of, you know, that's how the record starts. Yeah. And it kind of leaves you with that feeling as of, of depression or maybe mm. the faces, the masks that we wear. Well, the first line on the whole record is, yeah. I do anything to heal. I do anything to heal. Right. And, and for you, what is that? A lot of times it's whatever I feel I need to do to heal, but I don't, yeah. you know, sometimes you don't know, and sometimes you don't even know you need to heal. But, yeah. you know, there was parts of me that were tuned in pretty heavily to, like, m m more of me than I've ever really been when I was writing this right. record. Why is that? Because you're a father maybe now? Maybe because life changed? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, I mean, that would be yeah. the obvious one for sure, but... right. Uh, it was kind of an extension of the things change mood because that right. was about quitting drinking and uh, right. cleaning up my act a little bit. So yeah. this record, this record is more outward. It's more me, like me. I'm kind of, uh, I'm, I'm better now. Um, and I'm making observations about our weird world. And feeling more. And feeling is that more. possible? Yeah, like, yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? Because we do things that kind of like numb those feelings. Yeah, right. And that's what I kind of love about what you do. You're a pop artist in a lot of senses. You write a great hook. There's excellent lyrics here, but you also, as well as feeling what you are laying out, mm. I'm thinking because of these lyrics. You know. What well, I it's mean? nice to hear. Not everybody gets. <laughs> right. Not everybody. <laughs> feels the same thing you know like yeah. most people are like oh it's too heavy or right. it's too depressing but i mean come on the, the smiths <laughs> the smiths sounded so upbeat but man yeah. those lyrics were depressing they but were still depressing. it makes people feel good so yeah. it makes me feel good anyway